Well, hello guys! We just had our most wholesome episode ever of uh, Freaky Eaters. That was some of the saddest, saddest, yeah, and happiest things we put on here. Uh, so it was fucking lame. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely go give it a look-see. But today, we have a love after lockup, per usual. I'm not sure who we're gonna talk about. Did I say? Did I say who I know last time? I don't remember. I don't pay attention to myself. But since more people see these ones, I'm gonna have to say it again. I have a P.O. box, guys. I forgot to let you guys know when I hit 10K that I got one, because I promised I was gonna get one. People kept telling me to do it. So now I got one. I'm gonna do mail days on Sundays, so that's gonna be another that's gonna be three on that day, yeah. What's what's the address? I'm an idiot. Where's it at? Okay, P.O. Box 7899, Algonquin, Illinois, 60102. It's about five and a half inches tall by 11 inches long. And I'm an idiot, but like, whatever. Just send me dildos, cocks, anything you want. I don't care. I'm gonna open it up and show it on mail day. Super fucking pumped. I actually think that should be super fun. And if I don't post one on Sundays, it's not because I'm a loser and got no mail. It's because I forgot. Lizzie and Scott. We haven't seen these beautiful bitches uh, since, I think that was the first one I ever did of Love After Lockup. Really excited to see where this goes. I know she's got big, fake fucking tits. So I'm very excited to see where this goes. We're gonna pick her up right now. Really excited. We've been waiting damn near three years. Same, dog. Today is Lizzie's. Okay, Adam, Scott's son, looks like the knockoff, depressed version of me, okay? Let's just get that out of there real quick. Let's go. Release date. I think you, you guys will get along. This day means a lot. I'm anxious. I didn't sleep last night. These last two and a half years, it's been a long two and a half years. And Definitely found one of the things. I'm gonna slip into her picture for the thumbnail. Yeah. They really set themselves up for failure for having pictures all the time like that. Like, they just make it perfect for people like me who are complete fucking assholes. I mean, who out there in the world would sit and wait two and a half years for a girl that he only met online, no doubt? A thirsty fucking idiot who could get zero pussy otherwise. How about that? He and Liz are engaged. But this doesn't feel real. And if you really think about it, I'm just a stranger she met off the internet. No, don't say if you really think about it, because that's literally what you are. And she's a woman I met in prison. Yeah, you're really good at this. Are you nervous? Of course I'm nervous. I have had, I haven't had a female in the house in freaking years. How many, how many have actually been to the house? Oh, between both of us, negative one, because we killed the bitch. Uh, I, I don't. None. Fucking virgins. He's been talking about this day for two and a half years. My dad told me that some of the women in jail use men for money. That's something that, con that concerns me. Poetic. The way these words just stumble out of your mouth. I just tired of being alone. You'll, you'll know what I mean when you get older. He seems like he feels very alone. How are you doing today, sir? All right. Yeah, I'm just here to pick up my pussy, if you don't mind. Yeah, I need to see your uh, ID, sir. There you go. Okay, I need to see your ID, too. Sweet. Everybody that's in the vehicle. Hey, uh, man. That's my son uh, there. There you go. Yeah, sir, I don't give a fuck if it's your son. I just need to see the ID. Don't make small talk, okay? Get the fuck in there and get the fuck out. You here to pick up, sir? Elizabeth? Work here, or is she? Is it, is it an uh, inmate here? She should be released today. She's an inmate here. I'm, I'm actually here, I'm here to break her out. I don't have access to a computer, but mm -hmm. we have a problem here. I'm sure it will be sorted out. I'm just gonna press play and see what happens, okay? Uh, how are you doing today, sir? All right. You're just gonna, you're just gonna show me this again? Yes, sir. We have a problem here. What's the problem? I've been waiting for about 30 seconds. What's the problem? I didn't know. She's not pulling today. I, I have the schedule. Mm -hmm. so she's not on it. There's only two people leaving today, and okay. she's not scheduled to be Okay, you tell if she's going to be released tomorrow or the next day? Nothing. Sir, I wish I'd give you some more information. Okay. But... Really not sure exactly what to say at the moment. Um, is this fake? Pro I, have, I have no idea. Probably not. 
I honestly just want to see this man cry. Um, I drove five hours. Is there any way I can see her? There, there's no way. We don't. We have visiting tomorrow. You can, you can come over here tomorrow if you're an approved visitor. You can't even tell me if she got in trouble in the prison. I don't have access to a computer to even get in her records, and even if I could, I'm not authorized to do that. Okay, fair enough. I know you're just doing your job. What a sweet, wholesome fucking moron. Well, that freaking sucks. I mean, kind of, you're kind of dodging a bullet right now, but I know you're not going to let it go, so. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> you okay? Come on. I feel sick to my stomach. Um, like I said, I'm just ill. I'm just ill. When you did... You're just ill was the most disgusting, vile thing I've seen in the past 27 minutes. Mm. Uh, if you don't mind, Adam, I gotta bust a nut. <sighs> Are you fucking serious? You're gonna throw up. Why? Okay, nothing came out. You were just, you were just. I just start doing that. Like, whenever anything doesn't go my way, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna show it again, but with my voiceover. Thanks. I think he's feeling pretty anxious. I think he's trying to do everything he can for Elizabeth to make uh, you happy, but I don't think it's, it's not really working out so far. How'd you come up with that fucking conclusion? Hey, Adam, can you throw me a water? Great catch, Pops. Okay, uh, their lives kind of give me depression. I don't, I get why this kid is sad 24-7. Could you imagine just living this life? Like, this is you. You drove up five hours to pick up some big titty bitch in prison. And, and, and then, like, it's the highlight of your life. And now you want to throw up on an apple tree outside the prison because you can't pick her up. That's your whole life. That's your whole existence right now. Need me to hold your hair back, sweetheart? Just kind of mad at everything. I mean, freaking, enough's enough. I'm kind of mad at freaking everything. Fuck Adam. God, he's such a little depressed cunt. Driving out of the prison. I can talk to the guard. I understand he's doing his job. I just didn't feel very good. I wonder what the cars are thinking, passing by, watching this schmuck walk towards the camera, and the guy's just like, Yep, yeah, keep, keep going, I'm not, I don't feel like killing myself right now. You know, I feel bad for my son and dragging him all the way out here for nothing. Yeah, I feel like he's old enough to stay home by himself. I know the women will tell the tricks the wrong dates they get out. They'll be gone long, you know, they'll be gone a week before. She always said, look, I have tricks. <laughs> I knew, I, I knew she had other tricks out there. You're just letting it all speak for itself, buddy. But now, I'm thinking I'm the biggest trick in the world. Yeah, yep, yep, yeah, yep, mm-hmm. I accidentally just exited out of the video. Let's see if there's even uh, any more to what he's about to say. Doubtful, let's check. She got me. Oh. <laughs> Did that not sound like a motorcycle? Let's see. And now, I'm really scared about mine and Lizzie's future. Mm, let's go. Oh, man. Ah, it's over. Okay, thank God. It's getting kind of sick seeing those fucking losers on the screen. Wow. Next, we have Dominic and Mary. Never seen these fucks before. Good. Uh, well, let's just go through the uh, couple of points here. Uh, the dad's an idiot. Adam is a depressed idiot. That's all I got. What do you guys think? You think, uh, I think a lot of you are going to probably answer it. Does she, is she a trick? What is it? Let me just, just say it. In the, just say it down there. I don't care. Spoil it for me. Spoil the surprise. God, that just made me love my life 
so much more. I hate them. Could you imagine? That's, that's just like I said before, that's your existence. That's your thing. That's your, it's your big day. You drove five fucking hours to get finessed by some a pair of fake tits. Thank you! Do you think this guy thinks he's like hip and cool for using the word trick? Thank you guys so much for watching. Why don't you go ahead and smack that face in the top left corner to subscribe if you haven't already. Two videos on the right side. They're perfect, I promise. And if you want to support the channel and you like what we do, go to patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. Any dollar amount counts, link in the description below.